Alexia Campbell, aka Certified Natural, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you, as always, for being here with me. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a review of the Mayel Organics Rice Water Line. Um, I expected to do this review like a month ago, but it took my products a little while to get here um, because of the shipping. Um, as you all know, COVID-19 has everything kind of just backed up. So not necessarily uh, on blaming the company or anything like that. It just took a while. It took quite a while to get here. So I ordered three products from the line. I did order them on the launch date, which was um, early May, I want to say. I ordered um, on the launch date. So I did get all of my products for the $5 sale. Um, I got the rice water clay mask, which I've already used, and I'll give you my reviews on that in just a second. I got the rice water collection moisturizing milk, and then I went ahead and got the rice water collection shine mist. So I did my clay mask off camera already. I did pre-poo my hair like I always do when um, before I wash my hair. I pre-poo with oil and water. I have a video on that. But I did go ahead and I pre-pooed in the shower just a little quicker, a little easier for me today. And then I applied the Rice Water Collection Clay Mask. Now I've been hearing from people that they didn't really like this mask because it wasn't very moisturizing. Or, or something of that nature but I would assume that it shouldn't be too moisturizing if it is a clay mask that's meant to detoxify which it actually does say on the um on the container it says this dual purpose mask is the perfect the perfect detoxifier for hair and body so I went in with the expectation that this was more like a cleanser like a cleaning co-wash um and not necessarily a deep conditioner or moisturizer because that's not uh what it what is the purpose of the product itself so i went ahead and i applied it onto my hair in sections i worked it into my scalp i didn't follow up with shampoo because my hair felt clean after i was finished so um i worked it into my scalp i went ahead and twisted it up i did one section at a time rinsed it out and then i followed up with the i'm sorry with the myel organics rosemary mint deep conditioner so i liked it i really did like this product but i'll get to all of my final reviews at the end so we're about to go in with the rice water collection moisturizing milk i have nothing on my hair i deconditioned and i run ahead and rinse my hair out so this is naked hair there's uh like i said absolutely nothing in it this is just what it looks like after i take my deep conditioner rinse my deep conditioner out in the shower it's drying a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm going to do a wash and go, but I'm not going to film the whole thing because you all have seen me do my wash and goes before. Um, shingling, raking, smoothing, whatever method I uh, choose to do today. I'm just going to go ahead and do a wash and go, but I am going to use the hair milk, the shine mist. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Eco Styler today. And I'm going to just use this Africa's Best oil since I have it here on my desk. always so i'm gonna go ahead and start with this section here and like i said it's getting a little bit dry so i'm gonna spray it with some water make sure it's good and wet And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the moisturizing hair milk. Now, normally I do let my leave-in sit in for a while before I go in, but I want to see how this product does um, fresh on my hair with my wash and go without me doing that. So today I'm just going to go ahead and go in with it. And it smells good. It smells like lotion, actually, to be honest. <laughs> This daily moisturizer is the perfect solution for bringing life back to dry, thirsty hair. So this is supposed to be for those of us who have dry hair. And as you know, I am here in Las Vegas. So my hair is prone to be more dry um, and I'm low porosity. So it is prone to be a little bit drier. So hopefully we get some moisture going on. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and apply, the, apply this to all of my head and then I'll be back. So I changed my mind, I did. I, um, I went ahead and I put my shower cap on top of the uh, My Organics rice water hair milk. Putting this on my hair, it raked in really smoothly. My hair was really moisturized. I did notice that the wetter that my hair was, the better it went on. So I would suggest, let me raise this up just a little bit, I feel like I'm a little low. I would suggest putting this on either in the shower when your hair is really wet and uh, twisting up put a shower cap on it while you're in the shower or just make sure that there is enough water in your hair when you apply this so that it can go into your hair shafts and sink into your hair strands and work but it did go on my hair really nicely so I twisted it up and I've been having this cap on for about 15 minutes and my hair feels really really <laughs> really good so I haven't had the best experiences with hair milks so for this to actually work on my hair and penetrate my hair follicles and actually get in there and give me some moisture a1 for the hair milk y'all a1 for the hair milk I'm about to go in and do my wash and go. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on top of the hair milk just to kind of give me a little bit more uh, moisture because I am in Las Vegas. Not because the hair milk didn't give me enough moisture, but it's really hot out here. So I need to make sure I lock in as much moisture as I can and the oil will do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and top it with this Eco Styler Gel. I'm going to show this a really quick speed, uh, sped up version of that because um, this is not a how to uh, video but I'll just go ahead and show you how I'll do that really quick and then I'll do the rest of my hair off camera. So this is what my hair is looking like. It is definitely moisturized. Definitely has some shine to it. It feels really good. So I really like this hair milk and I think that it is going to provide my hair with enough moisture for my wash and go to last for a while. But I am gonna take a little bit of this Africa's Best um, oils. It's just a bunch of different oils mixed in together. I'm gonna rub that in my hands and I'm going to just coat my hair with some of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the gel. I'm gonna save the shine mist for breaking my gel cast. I'm gonna see how that does um, with breaking my gel cast and providing my hair with some extra shine. So I'm gonna save the shine mist for that. I'm gonna get a little bit more water. Probably should have sprayed this on before I put the oil on, but it's fine, it'll be all right. <laughs> Break that through. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Eco Styler. I'm not gonna go as heavy as I normally do with my gels, just because I don't want my hair to be weighed down as much with this wash and go. So I'm gonna put enough to make sure that my hair um, looks good, but I'm not gonna weigh it down as much. Okay, so I am back and I am all done with this wash and go. It looks really good. 
Now, this time I did do uh, something a little bit different from what I have been doing on camera recently, but I have been doing it. Um, I put some oil um, underneath my gel. It's really hot out here and my hair has been kind of getting dry faster than normal. So I needed that protective layer to give me some more moisture. So I do not expect for my curls to be extremely defined and that has nothing to do with the My Organics line. It's just the way that I did this particular method today. Um, I'm going for a little bit more moisture the hair milk gave me a ton of moisture definitely gave me a ton of moisture and I want to lock that in really good with some extra water so putting the oil on top did just that I have a good amount of shine already going on I am going to save the shine mist for breaking the cast which I might not have much of a cast um, because like I said I put oil underneath the gel and so the gel isn't going to dry as hard as it normally would because there's an oil underneath it and I already know that it's gonna be it's gonna dry a little bit bigger, a little bit frizzier, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Moisture is way more important than definition. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Hopefully it doesn't take all day, and I'll be back with my final thoughts and with the final result of this wash and go. All right. Okay, so I just finished stretching my hair and yeah. <laughs> I love this wash and go. This is probably one of the best wash and goes I've had in a long time. Well, I stopped doing them for a long time, but in ever. I love it. It is big. My hair isn't crunchy. It's fluffy. And I need a curly cut. I say that every video, I'm gonna get a curly cut. I keep meaning to go get it done. I just haven't. So it's even giving me some shape. Um, I stretched it a little bit different. I'll show a video of how I stretch my hair. I used the blow dryer. I used to band, I still do band, but um, lately I've just been using the blow dryer because it's just really quick and easy, but I didn't even pick my hair. So this is exciting okay now let me recap what i used um <clears throat> this myel organics i started with the uh clay mask wash well i started with oil actually i pre pooed in the shower with this oil and then i applied the clay mask um, to cleanse my hair it was a great detoxifier my hair was clean it wasn't stripped though so i like that it was stripped but not stripped of all of its moisture so it was really clean i felt like it was clean this is like a strong co-wash from to me and so it did exactly what it said it was going to do and i really really liked it so this will be a staple um for me probably once a month um it's probably instead of using my shampoo once a month because i shampoo once a month but this is this is really good and then i deep condition with the myel organics rosemary mint everybody knows how i feel about this this is one of my favorite products from their line i really enjoy this deep conditioner it really helps my hair makes my hair feel really strong so and i wanted to kind of keep as much as i could in the myel organics family so i went ahead and deep condition with this because i don't have a deep conditioner for rice water i don't believe they have one um they might if they do i just missed it when i was looking so i really enjoyed this this hair milk though this is what sold me um yeah this is so moisturizing and i need moisture i'm in las vegas nevada it is hot 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 out here so i need moisture this gave me a ton of moisture so this is probably my favorite product from the line so far from this particular collection it's amazing so i really love this and then i applied more oil to my hair because i'm trying to like i said keep moisture i'm more about moisture right now than i am about definition or anything else so i applied oil to my hair and then followed up with the eco styler and i didn't use as much eco styler as i normally do i just put it on there raked it through i made sure that i got it good enough but normally i'm really heavy with gels i decided not to do that this time because i didn't want the crunch my hair dried faster much faster and it's much bigger it's much fluffier i really 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 i didn't pick my hair i didn't use a pick at all so this is amazing okay so i thoroughly 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 enjoyed this line it delivered a hundred percent for me i love the detoxifier i love the hair the hair milk um i haven't used this 
shine mist yet i'm gonna be honest but i don't want to spray it on this wash and go today so i am going to use this another day to see if i can refresh my curls but i'm not going to use it today because i just don't feel like it needs to be used with this wash and go so i don't know whether or not it does or doesn't work um it smells really good it has some good ingredients in here but it does have a lot of water so i would probably prefer to use this if i'm putting my hair in a bun or like i said if i'm going to refresh my curls so i didn't use this today but that's okay everything else that i did use from the line i feel like i had enough products to really give a good judgment of the line i think that it did very very well um, as far as the rice water is concerned i've never used rice water before i keep telling myself that i'm gonna try it but i also know that i have protein sensitive hair and rice water has a lot of protein in it so i don't know the benefits or the drawbacks of rice water um but it work for me so whatever's in this product <laughs> does well i do see in the ingredients list that rice water is a little bit in the middle or kind of further down in the list and some people had some questions about that i do know that because rice water is can be very strong and it can be harsh on the hair if used too heavily that's probably why they don't have as much of it in here but whatever they put in here works trust me when i tell you it works rice water oils everything it it this came together well so thumbs up for my L organics i really enjoyed this um i hope you all like this nice wash and go because i absolutely love it i'm so excited i wish i had somewhere real i can go to but we still quarantined over here <laughs> okay thank you so much for tuning in to me as always i hope you like this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up leave me a nice comment subscribe to my channel thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you all in the next one